The link will be. <clears throat> Ow! <coughs> I had trail mix. Sorry, that peanuts really got me tripping right now. <clears throat> Today we are at Serenity getting a quick sesh before we cruise over to the shop, hang out there for a little bit. I don't think we're going to be hanging out with Steve today, but usually we do on days like this. They're close today, so, oh god. My pants keep falling down today. It's not a good day. I don't know how well you guys are going to be able to hear me because of all that, but we're just going to keep going. So let's go up the four stair. I almost did not make that. How about flip off the side of this right here? Ugh. That was a little harder than I usually land. That actually really hurt my hands and it really hurt my feet. So we're just gonna stay like this for a little bit. Bruh. Oh yo, he's out. He's out. Oh, he's in. Never mind. One thing I don't want to forget to tell you guys is that if you haven't seen, I've been teasing this app called Hang Time for the past few days, and I will be going live on that app today. So if you guys want to have your own chance, oh god, to win one of my signature decks that I rode in competition, cruise over that link down in the description click that be ready I'm going live tonight at 6 p.m. so I'm not gonna lie today I got here really late super late a lot later than I usually do and with that being said today's video might oh god I did not land that today's video might be a little bit late so if it is sorry there we go 270 downs I like that trick that trick is actually a lot of fun let's try 270 heel down but like decade ish kind of thing we'll try on that same hip I probably won't land this first try though to be honest Oh, we were close. It's really difficult to stay like around it without letting the deck move that much because I don't want it to turn into like a 270 downhill. I want it to be more like a decade, which is why I added a decade in there. So we'll try again, see if I can get the deck to spin a little bit less. Oh, come on, Ray. Maybe I have to do like a flare first. That's probably my problem. So let's flare and then we'll do it. Now we'll go. We'll do like a fakey on the way there, not hit the rail. Whoa! Okay, well I almost died doing that one. I landed in Manny. Oh god. Hey man, how you doing? Show us your trick. So okay, I'll, I'll see. Uh, I'll try to do. I'll try to do a, fl a flip right here and land fakie. I like I land and roll backwards. The homie wants a trick. Does that count as like a call of shots? He didn't know any tricks, but. Oh, I know. Super flat, dude. How you get more pop? There we go. That was better. What's your So it's like uh, how do it? That. <laughs> Alright, so we probably got like five more minutes here and then we're gonna have to cruise over to the shop and do this stuff over there. So we're gonna make these few more minutes count with the bar mani. Oh my front wheel went down. We'll try again. So I'm gonna try to do bar mani to feeble and then front 180 fakie and then 180 heel out. So bar feeble first. Oh. I think it's enough fun for today. I'm already super sweaty. I'm tired. I don't, I don't really feel that good for some reason, but um, we're gonna cruise over to the shop right now, do a couple things over there, and uh, get ready for the live stream later. Okay, so one thing I wanna talk to you guys about. Sorry about my really squeaky chair. It's probably gonna stay like that. I can't do much about it. I don't have anything. Anyways, moving on. So obviously everybody wants to save a little bit of money. My camera's falling, so um, that's gonna cost me money if I don't fix it. There. Better. Sorry. Come on, Greg. Get professional. <sighs> everybody's always looking for a scooter that's really cheap, but still really, really good. And obviously, everybody's known about the Colts. We all know about the Prodigies and stuff like that. Well, the new Prodigy, which I haven't, I actually have not shown it on this channel yet, but I'm very, very, very excited to show you guys this colorway. Some of you guys might have seen this colorway already, but a lot of you guys probably haven't. So, here it is. This is my favorite complete scooter out there for sure. This thing has an amazing, like a paint splatter, all kinds of different colors. There's the greens, there's blues, reds, pinks, all kinds of stuff in here. So I think that this deck looks incredible. Are we blurry again? No, we're good. Sorry, this scoot is absolutely amazing. Um, the deck is 4.75 by, I believe, 19 and a half inches long. Hang on, we gotta make sure. I don't wanna be that guy that gives you the wrong information because then everybody's gonna hate me. So this deck is, I know it's 4.75 inches wide, so it's 4.75 inches wide by 19 and a half inches. I'm good, man, I'm good. 19 and a half inches long. This scooter also comes with 120 millimeter wheels. So that's actually really, really cool that this scooter comes with 120 millimeters. I know some of the super older ones only came with um, 
110s, and you also, let me zoom in a little bit, check out these new rear inserts. So these are made out of a nylon, and basically what this, this does is it essentially keeps that sleek look of the scoot um, complete. It doesn't stop, there's no holes right here, there's no cutouts, it's just, I mean there are cutouts under this, but I think that these inserts add a lot of personality to the rear end of the scoot, so I think that was a really cool addition. Um, wheels are, like I said, 120 millimeter, but I forgot to tell you that these ones, they glow in the dark. These wheels glow in the dark, so I am super, super stoked to actually get my hands on a pair of glow in, in the dark wheels because um, I haven't had them yet, but I have my glow in the dark grips on there right now, so these are gonna be a really cool addition to the scooter scene, and I'm really stoked about them. Today. Whoa! This is a five spoke wheel with an ABAC 9 bearing in it. It's just MV bearings in there, um, works super good. Same nylon brake that we had on the Prodigies before, as well as the KOS line. I'm blurry again. My camera's just not really doing it today, guys. I'm sorry. It's been having issues lately, and now we're back. I don't understand it. Like I already said, the amazing paint splatter colorway looks so cool, um, but we're gonna move on to the headset. Headset is a sealed and integrated MV headset. Very, very smooth, very strong, and spins fast. What more can you ask for from a headset? We also have the new fork. This fork is, oh my goodness, sorry guys. This fork, is it's kinda like a cross between an SOBV3, which a lot of you guys might know as like the NV aftermarket fork that I ride as well, um, and an NV CNC fork. So I think the fork, look, it looks really cool. It's super light, so that's awesome. Fits wheels perfectly fine. There's no issues, and then you can run up to 125 millimeter wheel on these forks. So pretty cool. Um, moving on to the clamp. Clamp is a double clamp, uh, six millimeter bolts. Uh, basically what those do is help you um, not strip your bolts out at the skate park. Clamps really strong, does its job, perfect. And it never meets in the back, which is sometimes an issue with some clamps. See how it has like that little slit in the back of the clamp right here? Never touches, perfect. Moving on to the bar, this is a 4130 Cromoly bar. Um, it also has that gusset design. The grips are a new blue and black fused together looking grip. I think the color looks really cool. It obviously matches the wheels perfectly. Um, I don't have any of these yet. I'm gonna get this color on my scooter soon, but I figured I wanted to try out the glow in the dark. Grips first, um, and I didn't have as many, cho I mean I had all the grips, but I used them all for grip tape, so kind of screwed myself in that regard. So um, I'm still stoked on what I have, and it still has the nylon bar end. Same actual grip design, because everybody loves this grip so much. It's soft, um, they're wider, everything, it's perfect. So yeah, in my opinion, I think that the Prodigy S6 right now is by far the best scooter that you can get that's in the $200 range. Obviously once you get into like the KOSs, or you get into like a very, uh, very much customized, complete scoot, like a complete pro scoot. Um, that's where you get to be like pretty gnarly, and then obviously this isn't in that class. But as for a scooter that's at this price, I think this is by far um, the best scoot. Comment below what you guys think about this scooter. Do you think that um, you like the colors on this scooter? Or is there another scooter color that you like that's on the Prodigy? And if you guys haven't seen the Prodigy colors, just Google it or something, or you can go over to Envy's Instagram and uh, check them out there. But I just wanted to show you guys this scoot, give you a couple specs on it, and uh, that's pretty much going to be the end of my video. I know it's a little shorter than we usually do, but um, I still hope that you guys really did enjoy this video and do not forget tonight I am going live on hang time at 6 p.m. PST so if you guys want to be a part of that um, and have your chance to win one of my signature decks that like I said I wrote in competition and I will sign it for you as well um, cruise over there at 6 p.m. download the app um, link will be <coughs> out <coughs> I had trail mix. Link will be down in the description below. Go click that on your phone, your computer, whatever it may be. It'll take you over to the app. Check it out. Boom. But thank you guys so much for watching. As always, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and comment uh, all of the uh, things that you like about the scoot, things that you don't like about the scoot, or whatever else it may be that you want to. Sorry, that peanuts really got me tripping right now. <clears throat> I'm just going to stop right there. I'm just going to say goodbye. Thanks for watching. Later. <laughs>